What's up, everybody? Thank you for checking out No Regrets Lifestyle, another top five video with the top five things to do when you're in Antigua, Guatemala. Number five, just like almost anywhere in Latin America, everywhere has a beautiful local market. And this one in Antigua, which I call the never ending market, I'll make sure to put a link for that from this video so you can see that. It is a market where you can literally buy anything and it seems to never end. You can enter, you enter from one side and there's a food court where you can get very, very cheap, delicious, authentic Guatemalan food. And as you pass through, you can buy anything. Shoes, clothes, spices, deodorant, shampoo, spray paint. You're in the middle of Guatemala, you can buy seafood in there. It's a really weird place, but really, really cool. And it might, you know, if you meander and you're kind of at the window, pa the window shopping pace, it might take you a full hour to walk through. So I would definitely check out the local market in Antigua. Number four, the Mirador or the Viewpoint in Antigua. I've got a video on this as well. It's such a good way to get above the city and be able to see a perfect lay of the land of Antigua because it is so beautiful and it's peaceful up there and you've got a big view of the volcano in the distance. So I'll put up the video, put a link for you guys to see that because it's got the directions there. It's a short little walk. I wouldn't even call it a hike. Through a nice little forest, you've got a massive cross behind you, people selling souvenirs and trinkets and again that beautiful view. So maybe you do the local market in the morning and then you can go and check out the Mirador in the afternoon. Number three, the only place you're gonna go out in Antigua is Vibras de la Casba. I gotta do a shout out to my buddy Dan Pangman who has thrown together an amazing business there, an amazing club, and it's such a good layout because everyone knows the big arch which is kind of a staple and landmark in the middle of Antigua and kind of set back, hidden in one of the ancient buildings is one of the best laid out clubs I've ever been to in my life. It's got a beautiful outdoor patio that's lit, that's quiet, so you can sit down there with friends, chat, socialize, have a couple of drinks, which are well priced as well. And then you can step back inside, be in there listening to the music, and then there's a sunken dance floor if you wanna get down there and bust a couple moves. They've also got DJs coming in all the time, Dan himself as well. So make sure under the arch to check out Vibras de la Casba. Number two, I'll also put a video to this as well, but Antigua meaning ancient in Spanish, you've got to check out some of the history and the historical sites there. There's ruins in every pocket of Antigua. You can get a map and they are marked on there or you can simply do as I did and just walk around and see which one strikes your fancy. I went into one called San Francisco, which had a beautiful cathedral off of it. It also had a museum connected to the ruins, all included in a very cheap cost. I think it was a couple bucks. Some of them are a little expensive, upwards of $15, but you've got a ton to choose from. So whichever one you are interested in, simply check that one out. I personally would recommend San Francisco, which I'll put a video up, but you're in Antigua, a beautiful historic place. You gotta check out some of the historic sites. And the number one thing to do in Antigua, Guatemala, you're gonna see them as soon as you're there, is one of the volcanoes. I personally did the Pacaya trip, which was a half day hike. It's not too grueling, but you do get the heart rate up. You do get sweat and it's a nice reward once you get to the top because the view of Pacaya with the smoke coming out of the top I did the afternoon one with the sun setting, a view over a lot of the surrounding towns was just incredible. And it's only erupted a few years ago. So there's actually some of the rocks are still hot and you could push them away and roast some marshmallows, which is really cool. The other one is Akatenango, which is the overnight one, a little more grueling. And make sure if you're doing that one that there's good weather because one of the reasons you go up there is the view and to be able to see the neighboring volcano erupting. So no sense if there's a lot of cloud cover. So those guys, my top five things to do in Antigua, Make sure to check out the videos that inspired this video that led me from Playa del Carmen through Central America down to Colombia. And also click the freedom link in the description below. Put in your info. I'll be in contact with you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button. No regrets, guys. I'll talk to you soon.